We talked a little bit about Kemba Walker. He looked pretty good in his, re- well, not his return, but last night versus the Clippers. So do you guys think he's back or are we still waiting to see a little bit more to figure or not figure whether or not he's been consistent enough? Gerard, I'll let you answer that, but I'm going to <laughs> in here. You know, we saw in Orlando, right, if, if Kemba is not the guy we know, which is a guy off the top of the key screens, you know, either side, that one dribble pull up real fast before the defense can react versus the guy who in Orlando at the point of attack got completely engulfed by the double team, couldn't get by, didn't have burst. Um, if it's that Kemba, the Celtic trouble. If it's the Kemba that started to play over the last seven or eight games, that can get by guys that can finish around the rim or spray it out, um, then, then, then they're good. But um, you know, I'm biased, right? Like I've been watching this young man since he was 18 years old, and on, and I just um, there's something to me about guys who can celebrate somebody else's success, mm-hmm. who doesn't um, have this idea that shine for somebody else means less shine for me. That's not what this is about. Like excellence requires everybody. It requires all 15 guys. And I feel like Kemba has an understanding of that. No, the, the thing about Kemba that I, to me, is the clearest indicator that he's pretty damn close to being back to where he's at is the smile. Yeah. Uh, Kemba is yeah. one of those players who wears his emotions on his sleeve, on his face, in his body language. Everything about him, you can tell by just simply, you don't have to look at the stat sheet, just watch his body language. And that, to me is why I think he's pretty close to being back. He's not all the way back, but he's pretty close. And his play is backing that up. But more than anything, it's his presence. Uh, Kimba gets it. Uh, this is, this is uh, as, as Doris pointed out, I mean, you go back and you look at that UConn team that he put on that just that magical ride uh, through the NCAA tournament. Uh, that Not everyone has the ability to be that good and yet be that deferral to his teammates, making sure they get shine, making sure that he talks about the bigs who are setting great screens for him, making sure that, you know, he's getting them involved offensively. A lot of the things that we see him doing in in Boston, uh, and that's why he's been an ultimate, uh, if you had to pick the perfect player to fill the void left by Kyrie Irving when he left, uh, Kim Walker would be that, uh, based upon talent, based upon fit, and, and based upon just joy of the game, and joy for others that he plays with in the game. I don't think it's a secret why Kyrie Irving is much better uh, working with a couple of uber echelon superstars than he is a couple of on the rise superstars. That's just where he's at. Um, And again, I I, I love that Kimba just gets it. Um, I I, I don't know if there's any other way to, to put it better than that. It's just that he gets it. Oh, 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 oh